As I'm moving in a few days, I thought it would be fun for me to do a rapid review of every single fragrance in my collection as it is today. I'm only going to show you guys the fragrances that have not been gifted to me, so that means you guys are only going to see about seven fragrances in total because all fragrance reviewers are seller. <music> I'm gonna give three words for each fragrance in today's video. If you guys know from my previous videos that my fragrance collection is basically split into four, into four different drawers underneath my bed. So I've taken out each one into these big white bags here. I'm gonna spread them out for you guys. It's gonna be probably a long video, so we'll try to break it up somehow in the editing. Let's get started. Drawer one, the regularly used. Cartier L'Envol Eau de Toilette. Sexy, underrated honey. Allure Homme Edition Blanche by Chanel. Perfect, creamy citrus. Your Homme Sport 2021. Young Man's Terre de Remez. That's one word, isn't it? Tommy Hilfiger's Impact Intense. An affordable Leighton. Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Simple, easy leather. Packer Van Invictus, the original. Synthetic, loud bubblegum. YSL's YEDP. Safe, versatile, athletic. Versace Eros EDT. Outdated, sexy, loud. Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Smooth, tame, vanilla. Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme Bleu Electrique. Perfect, sexy, rare. <laughs> Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Natural, unique, and perfect. No, I'm just kidding, guys. This is synthetic, loud, obnoxious. <laughs> 212 VIP by Carolina Herrera. Sexy, loud, gin and tonic. That's a one word, that last bit, isn't it? Alexandria's 1981X. An easier Naxos. Azaro, the most wanted. Sexy Toffee Explosion. Light blue, O oh, intense. Salty Oceanic Musk. Aqua di Gio Essenza. RIP Best Flanker. Bulgari's Man in Black. Boozy Mature Spice Bomb. Dolce & Gabbana King Eau de Parfum. Ignore the Haters. Chanel's Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. Jeremy's Hype Beast. Linstan de Guerlain Eau de Toilette. Spicy, aromatic, cocoa. Hacker Urban One Million Parfum. Bright, sexy florals. Tom Ford's Fougère d'Argent. Perfect barbershop fragrance. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal. It's still sexy. Moschino's Toy Boy. Ignore the haters. Again, Armani Code Absolu. Mature, head turner, vanilla. Dior's Fahrenheit. Masterful, perfect petrol. Pacaraban Invictus Legend. Aqua 2016's successor. Rasasi Hawas. Pacaraban Invictus's superior. That's three words. Fleur de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Safe, boring masterpiece. Drawer two, mostly cheapies. David Beckham Instinct. Surprisingly high quality. Versace the Dreamer. Old school floral tobacco. Versace Mano Fresh. Affordable tropical holiday. Armaf Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum. Aventus reasonably priced. Al Haramain's Excellence. Middle Eastern Royalty for 15 bucks. Davidoff Cool Water Intense. Long lasting, versatile coconut. Bulgari's Aquamarine. Sexy Oceanic Seaweed. Chanel's Platinum Egoist. Mature, professional and metallic. Prada Lom Intense. Better than Prada Lom. Rocha's Mustache Eau de Parfum. Affordable Extreme Elegance. The original La Nuit de L'Homme by YSL. Sexy but gutted. Le Mal Le Parfum. Safer Modern Le Mal. Versace Blue Jeans. 80s Strip Club. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Great Affordable Aqua 2016. Arda Zaffaran's Oud 24 Hours. Black Orchid, but better and cheap. Encre Noir à l'Extreme. Woody Dark Brooding. YSL Kuros. Dirty and Gorgeous. Now, but for real though, this will not get you any compliments. Drawer three. Half not used, half random mix. Dior Homme Intense. Romantic powdery chocolate. Dolce & Gabbana The One Eau de Parfum. Safe Date Night Amber. Prada Luna Rosa Black. Sexy Dark Skin Lotion. Allure Homme Sport. Easy compliments. Yeah. 212 Men, NYC. Sexy, cheaper, youthful, green Irish tweed. Polo Red Extreme. Loud, clubbing coffee. Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Clean, linear vetiver. CH Men Privé. Sexy, fresh whiskey. Versace Eros Flame. Beast Mode, underrated Eros. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Higher quality Sauvage. 
Alexandria Fragrances, Hafez 1984. A not annoying red tobacco. Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky. Fun Caramel Popcorn. L'Homme Ideal Cologne. Creamy Almond Citrus. Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Best Sauvage Opening. One Million Privé. Safe Seductive Tobacco. My Tin Canister of Pure Isoe Super. I'm not even sure if this should be in the video. I'm just gonna skip past over this. Prada Lum. I don't like it. Dior Homme Parfum. Dark Powerful Batman. Dior Homme Original. Safe Woody Iris, Spice Bomb Extreme, Christmas for the Whole Neighborhood, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, Exotic, Sweet, Sexy, Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua 2016, Complimented but Don't Overpay, Versace Dylan Blue, Young Man's First Signature, Paco Rabanne's Original One Million, Annoying Lovable Nostalgia, Thierry Mugler's Cologne Come Together, Impossible to overspray. Terre d'Hermes eau de toilette. Versatile 10 out of 10 masterpiece. La Ligue pour Rome Equius. Affordable high quality green, which sounds like something else actually now that I've said that. <laughs> Frank Olivier's Oud Touch. Extreme potent oud. That's affordable. L'Odyssée pour Rome Noir Ambre. Packed Amber on steroids. Versace pour Rome. Clean, easy, versatile. Prada Amber pour Rome. Long lasting purple soap. Bulgari's Aqua Amara. Strength of the ocean. Just hardcore brutal, like the strength of the ocean. Thierry Mugler's Pure Malt. Rest in perfume, you sexy beast. Comme des garçons florientales. Underrated, versatile sandalwoods. Missoni Wave. Slightly synthetic but good value Versace Pour Homme slash Alorum Sports. Nearly at the end guys, let's keep going. Drawer 4. Mostly niche. Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Line. Smooth Summer Citrus. Chanel's Antaeus. Okay, maybe the only non-niche fragrance here. Masterpiece. This is sweet, safe, animalic. By the way guys, if you've come this far in the video, make sure you subscribe so we can be BFFs on YouTube. Nasomato's Black Afghano. Inappropriate, strong, sweet, weed. That's three words, by the way. Le Labo Santal 33. I hate this. Zerzioff's Naxos. I love this. Masterpiece tobacco perfumery. Dior Ombre Nuit. Gorgeous rose amber. Tom Ford's Oud Woods. Legendary sexy signature. Parfum de Marley's Leighton. Worth every penny. Leighton exclusive. Leighton with more character and less versatility. Aqua de Parma's Oud. Sexy versatile Oud. Creed Aventus. In 2022 this is water. Tom Ford's Black Orchid Parfum. A more tolerable Black Orchid with a nice rum note. Prada Midnight Train. Insane Dark patchouli, eccentric 01. This is not molecule 01, it's its cousin, it built on ISOE Super. It's okay. Home Ford's Tobacco Vanille, simple but just works masterfully. Parfum de Marley Darley, Le Mal on Rehab, Zahar of Porom Signature, Oriental Soap Incense, Parfum de Marley's Carlisle, Extreme Dark Spice, Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint, Beast Mode Woody Lemon, Thamine's Carved Oud, a higher quality Oud Wood. Yes, it's a clone, but it deserves to be a similar price to this fragrance. Halligan's Sartoria, Regal Barbershop Honey, Creed's Green Irish Tweed, Musk Green Mature, Aqua de Parma Sandalo, Mature Thick Sandalwood, Mancera Cedra Boise, Smoky Woody Fruit, Mancera Oud Vanille, Synthetic Simple Sweet, Eta Libre d'Orange, Remarkable People, Summery Champagne Sandalwood. I think we're done. Is that it? I think we've done it, guys. Wow, I do not know how many fragrances I have in my collection currently. I am going to guess around a hundred. If any of you have counted and want to win a medal in the comments down below, <laughs> let me know how many fragrances you saw in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick rapid summary. Let me know, do you want me to do a more in-depth analysis of every fragrance in my collection? I'm sure this video will be long enough as it is, but if I do uh, a short 
review of every single thing in my in my collection i will probably take a few hours to do that or at least an hour to do that video do you guys want to see that really in-depth overview of the collection let me know guys if you've watched all the way through you're a champion put a wave emoji like an oceanic wave if you watch till the end of this video guys so let me know that you're a true fan if you haven't already check out our other videos i'm gonna need a break i'll see you guys in the next one bye